Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you our back room in a little bit more detail. I have shared this before, obviously I did a full house tour, but I just wanted to kind of show you sort of the before and afters of this room. So when we moved into this room it actually had three different colours because it had yellow on this wall here, it had grey on some walls and it had white on other walls. It was a very odd kind of colour scheme. And it had a massive decal um, about kissing me goodnight and tell me you love me because that's where they had their baby's cot. So it was really pretty, but obviously we didn't want it. So I picked all of that off, sanded it down, and then we did all the decorating ourselves. So this was the room when we first moved in with the white, the grey, the yellow. Um, but the white was kind of a, like a creamy colour, so we didn't really like it. We painted the ceiling and we've already changed the light in these shots. Um, and we were actually sleeping in this bedroom while we did our main bedroom at the front, which is why there's a mattress on the floor and you'll see like a rail in a second. So that was the decal I was talking about, um, and that's the damage to the bedside tables I was talking about in the other video as well. And there was lots of marks on the walls. The door itself was this brown colour, which I really did not like. Matt originally wanted to keep the doors brown, but I managed to convince him to get rid of that. Um, sorry it's got out of focus and then it literally just shows you that there's massive massive holes in the wall from where they had like curtains up against the wall which was really weird so this was the room at the beginning of the decorating we had a million and one tester pots up on the walls because we couldn't decide on a colour and we were debating between these two from Valspar I think we ended up going for the one on the right I point to it on this other wall here and um, it's called green turquoise it was mixed up we had the carpet up because we were waiting for the carpet fitters to come and lay that. We'd taken the door off and this was the point at which I started to try and see if Matt wanted to move them to white. So you'll see on the other side as I come out the room that I started painting the, the door frames in these rooms white and we definitely preferred this which is why we decided to change them. So it took me a little while but I managed to paint all the walls using the Valspar green turquoise. I painted all the skirting boards, I also painted the radiator and the windowsill as well so that's a nice crisp white now um, and then we have the carpet laid as you can see the gentleman that did it was really lovely and really really fast so I'd recommend him if you're localish to me um, and then the final job that we had to do was to wallpaper our feature wall so it was this as I said it was this weird yellow colour that's just matte there hanging the wallpaper and now I'm going to hand back to the other Amy who is going to explain what the room looks like now so I've mentioned before we had new carpets laid in all three bedrooms, they're exactly the same in all three, this sort of grey polyester one, it's really nice. Um, and yeah, it just finished off the rooms because the front bedroom was a really, really old grey carpet. In here, was it was quite a nice one, but it was navy. And then in the smallest bedroom, sort of what's now the craft room, it was laminate flooring. So we pulled up all the flooring and had the same carpet laid out throughout. And then we haven't had the carpet done in the hallway. This is disgusting. This was this has been down since the house was built 30 years ago. So it really needs to go, but we just need a bit of money to be able to do that. So this room is kind of a mixture of a spare bedroom because this is a pull-out sofa bed from Ikea. So it makes a double bed, but this is also primarily Matt's games room. So this is where his PS4 is. Well, his old PS4, he's got two. So... As I said, this corner sofa is from Ikea, as is the lion cushion. He loves big cats, so he saw that. I think it was £10. This was about £500, um, and it comes with three back cushions, and then we bought two extra back cushions just to make it a little bit fuller, and I'm quite pleased we did that. My parents have got the same sofa, slightly different material, but with the three cushions, and this definitely looks better having all five. Then all of the green cushions are from Wilco. I think every single one, yeah. And I happened to be in there one day, just before the first lockdown, or just around the beginning of the first lockdown, something like that. And they'd all gone into sale for like £3 each, so we got an absolute bargain on these, and I love this colour green. We'd found this wallpaper online on home base, and we just fell in love with it, and we knew we wanted this colour. To paint the walls was an absolute nightmare, because it we used so many different tester pots. We kept going back to the Valspar range, and having cut, like, having like 50 different colour samples, getting a couple made up and then they just weren't ever matching. And then we went with this one, which I think is called green turquoise, but I'll double check and if it's not, I'll write it all. Sorry, it's gonna well out of focus. Um, I'm sure it was called green turquoise. And yeah, it just worked perfectly. Oh, let me turn the light on. In fact, speaking of light switch, we do have this little Star Wars dark side and light side. Matt's friend bought these for him. He bought two sets. So we've got one in our front room and then we've got one in here. 
so obviously you just flick it down to the light side the light itself if i show you while it's on is one of these ones it's similar it's also from b q like the one in our main bedroom but it's just a little bit more jagged like it's spiky it's more geometric which we thought went better in this room because of the wallpaper i really really like that one i think it looks good and i think it looks a bit like an a which makes me happy so that's what it looks like all of our ceilings, except for the bedroom randomly, are all Artex, so that was an absolute pain to paint. But we just bought a ton of white emulsion from, it was from B&M actually, like £10 a tub, and it went over fine, just one coat. Um, and as I say, we did all of the decorating ourselves. This little black table over in the corner is from Ikea, it's called a lac table. We didn't actually buy it though, we found it in the loft. Like the previous owners of this house left so much rubbish here, I'm not even kidding, like this isn't rubbish. They left like an extractor hood in the loft. They've left tons of wood, um, tanks, like old boiler tanks that aren't even connected. Um, the sheds were even worse. So we literally went to the tip the other day and got rid of so much stuff. But this was quite a nice little find. So because we've got this massive space, it went quite nicely here. And then we bought this little lamp from B&Q. We've just got one of our home phones in the back. So there's one upstairs. If And off, the only person that really rings the home phone is either Matt's dad or me, <laughs> so, and I'm normally trying to get hold of Matt, so, and so is his dad, so he's normally in this room. In front, I've just got my, um, money box, couldn't think of the word then, my mum bought me this, I'm not sure where it was from, it's from like a card shop, I think, and it is one of the ones with a stopper, um, so I do have a tendency to <laughs> dip into it, which is a bit naughty, then we've got this little cat candle, which was from b and it's about £1.50. And I've got this sand and fog candle, which was from TK Maxx. Well, it's actually sand and pores because this is one of their pet ones um, because they neutralise pet odour. But we liked this one because it just had the black cats on top. And we bought this just before Halloween and we put it in here. Um, I think it's just going to stay in here, to be honest. So it's just got this little cluster here. And then if Matt comes up and he's got a drink with him or whatever, he can just use the table itself. Um, but that's pretty much all that's on here. We do have like a chest of drawers and things in the garage that potentially could fit there. But I quite like this at the minute. It's just nice and simple. Um, we do have a TV here that we need to get rid of. And then we've got the TV that used to be downstairs is up here now. Because as I said, we've got Matt's PlayStation. He's got this really cool Darth Vader skin on it. That's his old PS4. He's got the PS4 Pro downstairs. Either side of the TV, we've got a photo frame. So these are all pictures from when we went to Santorini. I just made like a little collage. Sorry, I didn't realise I was going to reflect. So yeah, I just made like a little collage. And then the other side is pictures of us when we went to Cornwall. Let me show you real quick. Um, and these used to be in my bedroom at home. And that was a stone that he picked, he gave me when we were in Cornwall. It was really random, but it was quite sweet. It's really corny. I'm going to bring out the cheese now. He was just like, oh, this is a really beautiful rock. Beautiful like you. And I just thought it was really cute. So I kept it. I'm really soppy like that. Then we've got this little cat tea light holder and a cat succulent thing that we bought as part of the Halloween range in Poundland. But as I said, Matt absolutely loves black cats, so he's told me they're going to stay here year round. Same as this little black cat. I don't really know where he's going to live. I've just put him up here at the minute, but that was also from Poundland at Halloween. Um, as you can see, it's a vampire. So I said, oh, I'll put this one away because it's quite clearly Halloween. And he just looks at me and was like, don't you touch it. So <laughs> I've left it here. Um, and then on this windowsill, we've got these three little cacti that we picked up in Ikea. And I've got some more Wilco frames. That is a picture from when we were on holiday in Santorini. That is from our first holiday, which was in Tenerife. And then I've got these two little green rings from Crackers, because Matt has a tendency to fake propose, like, at least a couple of times a year. <laughs> and that's from the last two Christmases. Um, and then this one here, we've got little Lego people that we made, so we had Secret Santa and the person that Matt had, I suggested him making a little Lego version of him and it was really cute, but you could do like three for a deal. So then we ended up making each other in secret. So he made me, oh, I've knocked myself over with the shortest legs he could find, long ponytail and then a whistle because he said, look like a teacher and then my glasses, although I look like a little old lady in those glasses um, and then a book because I'm teaching. And then I made him, with all his work gear on so he's got his little toolbox he's got his spanner he's got his hard hat on and he's ready for work and then i had this on one of the kids at school had given me a gold star for something i can't think what i'd done but apparently i was really good so i got a gold star and he was joking around one day saying that he didn't have a gold star so i stuck it on little matt 
and Matt, little Matt's had a gold star ever since. So yeah, so that's our games room. I did the same as in the other bedroom. I painted this radiator. This radiator was grey, I think, in this room because it was painted to match the wall and I didn't want it grey. So I just sanded it down, primed it, and then I used the Dulux satin wood. I also used the Dulux satin wood all the way around on all the skirtings. I primed them with, I'm sure it's Leland. I'm sure it's called Leland Acrylic Primer. Um, and that's what I used everywhere. So that's this room here. And as I said, this, the only thing that I don't like at the moment is we don't really have things up on our walls. We don't have canvases and pictures. But I don't just want to put ones up for the sake of putting them up. I want to have some really nice ones. We do have a forest one that we're putting up here. We've got it. Um, I just haven't put it up on the wall yet. But yeah, that's an overview of this room. And hopefully I'll have been savvy enough to edit this and put pictures of the befores whilst I've been talking and then I might even just do sort of like a bit of a before and after at the end but yeah that is our second bedroom so I'm really happy with that and um, I don't think this room actually needs touching up there's one little bit on the skirting that needs touching up but this room actually is quite well decorated so and the wallpaper I hung with Matt's help so yeah I didn't mind doing a bit of wallpapering actually that was a paste the, the wall wallpaper which was much easier so anyway i'm gonna stop rambling now because i'm just wasting all your time hope you're all well and i'll see you again soon bye bye